So guys, for the first step, you want to get into the Windows recovery environment. So for the first way, if you can sign into Windows, then you want to head over to search and type in reset this PC. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to click on restart now and then click on restart now again, which will then take you into the Windows recovery environment. Now, if you cannot sign into Windows for the second way, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. Once you turn it back on again, you're going to see the Windows zone screen. Now, once you see the Windows zone screen, you're going to turn off your computer and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then it'll bring you to here. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly. You want to click on advanced options, which will then bring us into here. And now once you're in here, we have a few things we can do. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot and then you'll click on advanced options and then you'll click on system restore. If you do not see system restore, then you want to click on see more recovery options. And then you might have system restore right here. So now once you find system restore, you want to click on it. And then if you have a restore point, you want to click on next and then you want to go back to your restore point. Then it should fix the problem for you. But if not, that's fine. We're going to click on cancel. And now for the second method, you want to click on troubleshoot and then you'll click on advanced options and then you'll click on start to repair. And that's going to start diagnosing your PC, see if this fixes your problem. If that still did not work, then you want to click on advanced options and then click on troubleshoot, advanced options again, and then you want to click on command prompt. Now once you're here, we have some commands we need to type in. So first you want to type in C colon click on enter and now you want to type in cd space backslash windows backslash system32 backslash config and click on enter and now you want to type in md space backup one and click on enter and now you want to type in copy space star dot star space backup and click on enter if you get this you want to type in all and I click on enter you might not get that though but if you do just type in all and now you're going to type in cd space regback, click on enter. And now you're going to type in copy space star dot star space dot dot, and click on enter. For me, I got this error because I don't have this problem, but for you in your case, it should be working. And now you're going to type in A, and then click on enter again. Now once you complete all this, you want to close this out, and then you want to go back to Windows, and then the problem should be fixed.